What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 31 of the Tasty Cast, our bi weekly podcast where we talk about what we've been playing and other random topics. Uh, my name's Seth. I'm Chevy. I'm Chris. And uh, you might notice that we're in a, uh, in a white uh, abyss. Uh, we're actually moving studios right now, um, so bear with us in the next about week or two. Um, apologies for any audio, blah, blah, blah. You understand. Uh, and we're also going to be shortening this episode of the Taste Cast. You know, typically, we talk about an hour or two hours or whatever uh, due to that. So, uh, but a quick reminder before we get into uh, what we're talking about uh, play Till Dawn and uh, Game of Thrones, both offer free on PlayStation Plus right now. And uh, our game of the month, which is Rainbow Six Siege. Play all three of those, come back at the end of the month. We'll be talking about our opinions of them. Let us know yours. And uh, yeah, we always start off every Taste Cast. Talking about what we've been playing. So, uh, yeah, what have we been playing? Um, I'll go ahead and hop in. So, um, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Mm -hmm. um, it's the recent expansion for Final Fantasy XIV. It uh, has a Asian theme to it for the most part. There is um, a little bit of the original theme to it still as well. <laughs> what is that for? I've looked fucking European the whole goddamn Yeah, expansion. you're a dark knight. <laughs> Um, Damn, you're getting fucking sassy over there. I don't want to go into too much detail about like necessarily what I've been doing in it, though I do want to give some impressions. Uh, the storyline is still like they they've been getting better and better at the way they do storytelling, and it is very good. So if you are um, interested in in uh, Final Fantasies for their story, don't dismiss uh, the online game because it really does, um, especially after the original game. Heaven's Ward and Stormblood, really good storytelling, really good cutscenes. Um, the new classes, I haven't played Red Mage yet, you have, but mm -hmm. uh, Samurai's a lot of fun. Uh, and the zones are uh, very refreshing because uh, Heaven's Ward had a lot of like gray to it. <laughs> Bleak. Um, as for uh, more colorful, vibrant zones in, in Stormblood, for sure, especially uh, the, the main city, Kugane. Beautiful, beautiful city. It's good to hear because uh, anytime an expansion comes out for an MMO, I'm always hoping it's coming out later than the initial game or the original game came out. So they've had time to learn from when they made the game and uh, you know update certain things, textures, graphics, and mm -hmm. the facts that becomes easier to do later. So it's good to hear that, uh, that the new locations are cool. Well, the other thing I'm thrilled to hear too, um, and I share the opinion obviously on Samurai, but both the classes they released, Samurai and Red Mage, apparently like... Nobody has any complaints. They just play. They're fun. Um, they they do what they're supposed to do, and a lot of people were kind of worried because both jobs um, were kind of like fan picks mm -hmm. uh, jobs, uh, mostly because of Final Fantasy XI. And the the trouble there is the games don't play the same at all. So to make them feel like that job, but also feel like fourteen, um, was kind of a, a big job, and it sounds like they nailed it. So. Um, Props to them for that, for sure. Uh, well, you've actually also been playing it. Do you have mm -hmm. anything to share about it, or are things good? I finally don't look super European anymore. I look like Cecil as a Dark Knight. Wait, what are you playing? A Dark Knight. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of look like a weird Power Ranger. Mm. I got this visor that kind of comes down over my face, just makes it look like a flat face with eye holes. He also has like random like crescent moons on yeah. his armor. Yeah. Sounds ridiculous. It's pretty cool looking. Is it? It's not bad. It's pretty okay. cool. My hips look huge though. <laughs> got I, the birth and hips. I do. I got some <laughs> tiny like halfway up my back cape. It's like Ember in Warframe. Yeah. 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 Bigger. Bigger. <laughs> Bigger? <laughs> They're just like, whoa. Damn, hammer pants. <laughs> yeah. Um, as somebody who's not playing the expansions right now, but I plan on doing it, I actually hop back into Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, Pretty much took a break since fucking launch year before Heaven's War came out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, and I played it then. I liked it uh, enough, and I thought it looked really good. Blah blah blah. Um, and then hopping back into it, uh, I obviously had a couple reservations, but most of them are not that big a deal to me at this point. Um, I am I am enjoying it, which is cool. Um, I've actually got quite a bit of levels, more than I thought I was going to get. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to get uh, further into it though because I want to experience the expansion stuff because you guys keep talking about it. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting and uh, 
I want to play something other than Monk. So, but yeah, overall, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I also uh, bought two 3DS games uh, in the last two? month. Yeah. Um, I got a game called Senren Kangura Burst. Uh, oh, that's the porn game. <laughs> it is a essentially fan service Streets of Rage. Oh, um, yeah. Though I am surprised at the amount of Cakes like everywhere. cosmetic unlocks you get while playing it, um, and the the combat, though mindless, um, does have some skill to it, and it's actually pretty fun. Um, it's not a deep game at all. It's definitely one of those games like I, I picked up because I wanted something just mindless play on my 3DS because a lot of stuff I own is really involved mm. on that system. So uh, that's the thing that's amazing about the 3DS is like. Any game I own for that thing is not a fucking, it's not uh, fucking Bejeweled yeah. or fucking Puyo Pop or the hell that game is. <laughs> like, they're all like deep ass RPGs oh, yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm not a handheld guy, but I love the games. So I'm sitting there, I'm just like, I don't got fucking 50 hours to put into this game. <laughs> oh, say uh, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, I put, fuck, I have to be like right at the end. I think I put at least 60 into that game. So, I mean... I've played a shitload. Yeah, it, it's a full game. It's just crazy. But it's amazing, I mean, yeah. It's a full-ass 60-hour game. Well, it just shows you the, the, the market in Japan, though, versus mm-hmm. us. So. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, like, we saw a decline of RPGs on consoles, um, home consoles, and you see an increase in them, and kind of like the safe net of on the handheld systems. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, that game, you know... It's not for everyone, but if you want something mindless, it's fun. I just need to look at it. I just keep hearing about it. So They have it on Steam. It's just not that version. Mm. Um, you know, I need to see how fucking it's scantily pretty, clad these, it's, these ladies it's are. It's pretty bad. You <laughs> essentially, um, <laughs> you start off in like just like a normal, I think it's a, a school uniform or whatever. Yo. And then um, as you fight, you build up. An energy gauge, I don't know what it's called. It's a lust meter. It's not. Um, <laughs> it's a lust that, meter. You said it so confidently, I believed you. But uh, <laughs> when you... I was like, wow. When you uh, hit, I think it's the, the left uh, shoulder button, you go into this whole magic roll transformation, if you're not familiar with that, Sailor Moon. They um, get naked. Yeah. Hell so yeah. So you go from that uniform to a bikini to your ninja outfit, which I'm going to use the term... Ninja outfit very loosely because yeah. sometimes just like that outfit, it's pretty loose. Sometimes it's a ninja outfit. Sometimes it's like a soldier's uniforms. I mean, it just depends on the character. But uh, the extra part for fan service wise is the more damage you take, your clothes start ripping. I was gonna ask as soon as you mentioned the schoolgirl schoolgirl uniform, um, if it starts like ripping up as you fight. They, they do. So. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see that game. <laughs> like I said, uh, completely fans, mindless. I would say the fan service doesn't help help me at all. It doesn't no, 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 for no. me. But if it's like Streets of Streets of Rage, I'm, I'm down. Is. I like that. I like the kind of game. What's the other 3DS game that you've been playing that I've also been playing? Uh, Heroes of Ruin uh, oh. is a Diablo clone by Square Enix London, mm-hmm. and uh, I haven't gotten too far into it. Um, I am struggling with the class I'm playing, so I'm probably going to try a different class. Which one are you playing? The, the person with the pistols. Oh, really? That's my highest level person. The reason I'm, I'm struggling with it, it seems like aiming's a little wonky. Oh, it just locks on. That shit's too easy. Yeah, well, maybe I'm trying to aim, and that's yeah, the problem. that's probably the issue. <laughs> Not me, I just fucking... Otherwise, though, kill him. I mean, it is essentially just a light Diablo game. Um, it's... Well, to put some context behind this, uh, probably anyone watching this might or probably has not heard of this game. Yeah. Because I've never heard of it. Uh, I was on I was on fucking the old Googles looking up uh we were playing Grim Dawn as our game of the month last month and uh I was like, man, I love these type of games so much. I mean we're tasty loot gaming for a fucking reason. We, right. we love that tasty loot. Uh so fucking Fuck that's some tasty I need to get that sound clip of Josh going, that's some tasty loot. Um <laughs> But yeah, so I'm looking at other Diablo type games because I'm like, dude, there has to be more out there. There really is not that many games like this, which is really fucking surprising. Uh, so I go through a top ten list, and like I think it's like number nine on the whole fucking list. It's not even that that high on the list. Uh, is this is this game? And I was like, I've never fucking heard of this. And people are like, that's 
It's a decent Diablo type game on the 3DS. I was like, there's a fucking Diablo game on 3DS? It's dope. So I bought it that, that fucking second. And uh, the rest is history. Yeah. Though uh, it is worth noting, there's no digital version of the game, which is yeah. bizarre. Yeah, I had to actually order the fucker. Because mm -hmm. I would have bought it digitally. I don't give a shit. And uh, the printing is limited, so uh, if you are interested, I would probably look sooner than later. Yeah, when I, when I went on Amazon, there's like four copies left, and I, I got it. And then fucking when you look, there's one, one copy left. And so I bought it, yeah. We're sucking it down. Josh found a used copy, though. But um, but yeah, talking about the game, uh, it's, it's a light version of Diablo, like you said. It's four classes, pretty much everything you'd expect class-wise. Uh, simple skill tree, but there's there's stuff too there. You can um, activate certain skills, and they can all be upgraded three times. And uh, yeah, you go from place to place, go through kill shit, and get loot. Um, has multiplayer, has voice chat. Mm -hmm. So I've been playing it local passively. or internet. Yeah, uh, multiplayer. Um, and there's still servers, so uh, people are playing it. Um, but it's it's a cool game. Um, to kind of pass the time and get that Diablo feel while, you know, wherever you're at. It's better than, than the fucking, like, the ones on phone, like the mobile Diablo type games. They're all awful. Have you played yeah. any of them? Yeah, I played a couple and I I struggle with the, the controls for the most part. The joysticks? Yeah. Just taking um, up all the room? <laughs> I, think, I think phones lend themselves better to uh, turn-based games yeah. and uh, micromanagement games. Just like when FPS came out, I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. You play fucking FPS on there? I'm like, I don't want to play an FPS on there. There's <laughs> not enough screen. But, you know, I, the little bit I played is fun, but I do want to try the other three classes to see if one of them kind of clicks better for me. Yeah. Um, I want to play multiplayer. Yeah. And we'll have to do that at some point. I'm also curious how the, the how well the voice chat works. Um, just because just it's not really something you think of when you think 3DS. So. I think it's dope that it even has it, though. I agree. Like, that's that's awesome. I know I've played something else that had it, but I can't think of what it was. I know the Wii U had a game that had voice chat mm -hmm. on it, too, which oh, was kind God. of cool. It was awful. What what game? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> it was that bad. I No, I, I like that. I Even if it's shitty, like... Okay, so, like, the PS4 comes with that little earbud thing, and it's mm -hmm. a horrible, horrible mic, but I'm glad they put it in there because the PS3 didn't come with anything yeah. when it first came out. I don't know if they added one later. And I'd rather be able to at least hear people and talk to them, communicate with them, than not at all. And they should include it with it. So that the Wii U had that 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 ability to do that um, and that the 3DS can do that, I think is awesome because it's better than me just playing my 3DS and just like, oh, well, these guys must be cool dudes, whatever. Poor girls. Stranger danger. Yeah. They're all scary. They're all gonna get you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Journey has taught me anything. It's stranger danger. <laughs> that's the that's the fucking that's the story of that game. <laughs> don't trust anybody. Oh, yeah. My uh my last game is our game of the month, so I'll hold off. We'll on talk that. about that. I probably have a longer list than you, so I'm gonna let you jump in. There's nothing for me to jump into. Everything's been covered. Oh shit. I've been playing Final Fantasy <laughs> and uh Game of the Month. Okay. Um fuck. Alright. I uh <laughs> Jump into my list. Uh, so I picked up a bunch of games recently. A couple that that I didn't pick up. Well, they're they're literally almost all brand new. We're right, talking about Heroes of the Ruin. Game's dope. Uh, I've been playing Killing Floor Two still. Uh, I love that game. We've talked about it before. Make sure to go back and watch uh, Plus Club. I believe last Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we had to say about those games. Um, watch me be salty as fuck uh, talking about uh, Life is Strange. I was tired. Um, <laughs> side note, speaking of Life is Strange, um, a certain YouTube channel I watch that does react stuff, <laughs> um, does a gameplay walkthrough stuff right now, and right now they're doing the Left Behind, uh, Last of Us walkthrough, but in the comments, the number one rated thing they want to see the people play is Life is Strange. Yeah, because it's ridiculous. I, I just can't believe, like, that many people, like, are into that game. It's crazy. So I, I'm obviously missing something. Uh, yeah. It's confusing, because there's, like I said, there's a shitload of people that agree with me on that thing. Um, an overwhelming amount. Uh, so, yeah, I picked up, uh, Hitman. Been playing that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've done a couple 
rounds on that. I'm really, really happy to see them go back to the Hitman form of like Blood Money before that, where you're just playing a map with a shitload of ways to go about the mission. And they also added side quest type missions in the game as well and replayable uh, missions with different per like things going on in them. Really cool, especially since the last Hitman tried to be uh, like story-esque and like linear and it was awful. So I'm really glad uh, to see that. I'm enjoying it and it makes me even happier that these guys uh, bought themselves, bought their freedom and uh, are, are going to continue that. Oh yeah. Um, I'm a little, I'm, I should have bought it sooner to be supportive, but I bought it anyway, so <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, picked up Modern Warfare Remastered. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty happy with it. There's a couple things they've, uh, they haven't changed anything, but they definitely have added things to it. Not sure how I feel about that, but the game itself is fun. Still, still, that game is still fucking fun. It's more fun than a lot of Call of Duty's come out now. That's crazy that game uh, has a longevity. Um, and yeah, I'm loving that. Uh, picked up Civ 6. Um, huge fan of Civ 5. Civ 6 feels a lot like Civ 5. Um, I like the art style. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Pick it up. <laughs> Chevy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Always play the Chinese. No. Yeah. Why? Because you can destroy people in the Bronze Age or whatever age it is that you get those crazy archers. Yeah. You can just destroy people with it. And then you can just set them back to the Stone Age. Yeah, I like Russia because they have double the production of everybody else, so you just fucking pump out shit. Because they let their people die in production. Go, 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 go. To the gulag. Gulag. Damn, yeah, we're in sync on the comedy tonight. Uh, picked up Planet or Coaster Planet? Planet Coaster? I think it's Coaster Planet. You guys probably know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's really popular on Steam right now, but it is essentially Roller Coaster Tycoon or uh, Sim Theme Park, uh, which is dope because I used to play a shitload of Sim Theme Park oh, when I was younger. Coaster Planet, yeah. Yeah. It's really fucking cool. It's a really good looking game. It has so much creativity uh, that it allows you. You can literally do fucking anything you can terraform you can uh, make buildings you can use their buildings you can add things to those buildings you can make fucking uh just a lot of shit it's really fucking cool if you if you want to play like a sim game you can ride all the rides you can walk through the park it's it's fucking dope all it needs is vr if it has vr support i already bought it so I, i'm not gonna buy it then <laughs> but uh but it, it's awesome i'm actually really liking it and uh Finally, finally, God, uh, finally, Lawbreakers. Lawbreakers was in, and it might still be, I don't think it is though, uh, in beta, clo no, open, open beta, open beta on PC. I signed up for the closed beta on, on console. I downloaded it and didn't even play it. Really? Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm stoked about it. I played it a little bit. A lot of people keep saying it's Overwatch. It's not. It's not Overwatch. Um, it's an arena shooter. I the hate that anytime anyone makes something that they could even remotely uh, attach to a Blizzard game, people just merely call it a clone of the Blizzard game, which drives me insane. Look what happened to Paladins. Poor Paladins. They're mm. on this big, big that argument. Was, that, that was a little more shameless, but yeah. But the story's still on straight on that, because yeah. they claim the Paladins is being worked on sure, sure. years ago, so we don't know. But those games are definitely more comparable. Yeah, more comparable, yeah. But you're right that that kind of fucked them. Yeah. Even though Rob plays Paladins and has spent money in that game. And he loves Overwatch. So Paladins must be alright. Yeah. If fucking Rob's playing it. Um I would assume he would have been one of the people who'd be like, this game's fucking bullshit. But, <laughs> yeah. He also really likes Team Fortress too though. I think yeah. he just likes that type of game. I do like that type of game. Um and Paladins is adding characters constantly. If there's yeah. one thing they have to, to do to compete with Overwatch is more content. Mm -hmm. Plus so. you get mounts. Yeah. Mounts. Ride some horses. <laughs> yeah, mounts. Mounts, bitch. Um, what game was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Lawbreakers. Uh, Lawbreakers. So, uh, the only the only thing is, uh, before before I played the game, I heard people making the Overwatch comparison or whatever, and I've seen gameplay, I'm like, it looks like an arena shooter. I launched the game, and first off, this game is fucking gorgeous. It is a good looking game. Makes sense. Cliff Blazinski's, uh, Boss Key Productions making it. He worked on Unreal forever. Um, <clears throat> it, it has a, it has a loot system like like Overwatch. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, uh oh, did they change the game? Is it is it literally Overwatch? 
and uh, and it's got that loot system. You can unlock skins and all this shit, taunts, stuff like that. But uh, but you get into the game and uh, and it, it it's an arena shooter with anti gravity stuff in it. It's it's pretty fucking cool. Um, a lot of the weapons are really dope. A lot of the characters are very very different. And I mean, there's a chick that's like melee with knives and shit. I mean, she's not even really. I think she might have a gun. I don't know. She has a grappling hook though. Uh, one of my favorite characters, for his name, is a robot with a like auto shotgun. Uh, who can put up walls? You can put them up anywhere because, like I said, there's anti gravity areas. There'll be like a, a sphere where there's like no gravity. So as soon as you enter it, you start everyone starts fucking floating around and shit. Uh, so you can put this wall up, and they have to shoot through it to break it. Um, he also has, I think, an armor mode he puts on him, okay. and a couple other things. But, uh, but yeah, it was just really cool to see um, somebody with that experience. Uh, of, of working on the original arena shooters like Unreal and you know Quake stuff like that, uh, make a a new one that is modern has modern ideas. So really excited for that game to come out. I am glad it's not going to be free to play because because originally they said they're going to do free to play. Um, I just, I want the content. I don't want to fucking I don't want to go around the, the I don't want to be around the bush with that. I just want the fucking game. Well, I think they, I'm sure they'll sell the loot keys or whatever. Oh, well, probably. But I, loot I, I know when they were making it, and they they decided against the free to play model. Eventually, they that he said uh, they wanted to make sure that they were selling a, a premium game to people. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think they're gonna be. I, I think they said they're not gonna. It's not gonna be sixty bucks though. I say it mean forty bucks. Yeah, Pretty probably easy. forty thirty. I don't think it's gonna be thirty though. No, it'll probably be forty. Um, no. And then, yeah, with loot boxes, it makes sense that they they'll probably do the Overwatch thing in that regard, yeah. and uh, and sell keys and stuff. And as far as like that comparison, um, Call of Duty has loot chests. There's so many games so, that have that, so you can't take them to Overwatch. Yeah, it's just a way to add longevity to shooters, is what that yeah. is. So, it's also a way to kind of add like a gambling system to it, so you'll give them your money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, makes sense. A lot of people do it. I'm not like super fucking into it, but it makes complete sense to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's coming out, so definitely check that out if you didn't get in the beta. And it's also coming out in beta on console soon. So speaking of betas, um, mm -hmm. I know they had a, an NDA where you weren't supposed to talk about it all, but I didn't even play the damn game. <laughs> um, I got into the closed beta for Absolver. And forgot. <laughs> what is Absolver? It is Devolver Digital's uh, Kung Fu martial arts game. Oh. Oh. You got into it? I got it. into the closed beta for it, and I forgot about it. And then they sent me an email saying, thanks for participating. I was like, I didn't. So that was a waste. It's so. like I, I got into a closed beta for Diablo's uh, Necromancer extension. I made a character, and I played it for like maybe two days, and I just never went back to it. I'm really pretty good about betas, even though Josh sent me a beta key for uh, COD World War II mm -hmm. like three months ago, and I haven't put that code in. Oops. So I should probably do that. Yeah, it's probably coming up soon, to be honest. The beta? Probably. Well, yeah, because COD's going to come out in November. Yeah. So I should probably get on that. But otherwise, I'm typically pretty good about betas. Yeah, I'm not sure what like what happened there because I, like I like I wanted to try that game out and uh, tell you what happened. It's been hot as fuck. Yeah, been working our asses off. Shit's been weird. And Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah, I have no excuses. I'm a damn nanny for a living. <laughs> Goddamn nanny. Goddamn nanny. All I gotta do is say, hey, you're getting hypothermia. Get out of the pool. It will be oh, nice when the, the NDA gets into <laughs> though, and I can... Uh, You've been absolved of all of your responsibilities of that. Well, I've, I'm saying once it gets Absolver. lifted, uh, people can actually talk about their opinions of the game, so I'd be looking forward to, to hearing that. Yeah. We're making shitty jokes and just making sure you, you heard them. <laughs> I love shitty jokes, but sometimes they're bad. That's the point. Uh, yeah, so... Anything else anybody wants to throw out there? Something you remembered? You played some obscure game that no one's ever heard of? I don't think so. Mm -mm. Oh, well, okay. I played E.T. for the Atari 2600. It was awful. Don't you lie. You filthy liar. I took it, took it back to the landfill and blew the thing up. Oh, they're not there anymore. They're gone. Now they are. <laughs> Fucking killed them all. I, uh, I did play 
the Final Fantasy 15 mobile game that just came out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just say right now to anyone interested, don't. Dude, it, I saw a fucking commercial for it. It's dorky. It is not a Final Fantasy game. Mm -mm. It is... Uh, Clash of Clans? It's, yeah, it's like Clash of Clans, Ew. but they painted Final Fantasy 15 over it. In fact, I believe the people who made... It's either that one or one of the other ones that... that that genre, that company has made two in the past already, and this is their third one of that same game repainted. So, yeah, it's garbage. Don't, That's gross. Don't yeah. bother with it. The commercial I watched, what's his name, Noctis? Noct? Noct. Noctis. Or yeah. Either, yeah. Um, just showed him, and he was just like, just doing that, and just zooming in on it, just like panned over someone else. I was like, the fuck is this game? And they didn't barely look like him. He's just dressed like him. But his face was like weird. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Essentially, it's a... Uh, it's a kingdom builder that every, he, why are they yeah, building kingdoms? everything you you build has a timer of course you can buy things to speed them up hell yeah spend you that can invade fucking, other kingdoms you can go into money. dungeons the only like combat mechanic in the whole game is your hero can go into dungeons and fight things but they have energy which you can swing like twice on something before you have to use a potion which costs Money you know what? Charge. If they want me to pick up that game right now or fucking download it, they just need a button that has a money symbol and you just fucking hit it and it takes money out of your account. They, they yeah. just, they That's just, pretty much what it is. It's, it's awful. They send you an attachment for your phone and you just put money into it and it just goes straight to them digitally. You can take take your debit card to you and just. Yeah. <laughs> and you it, just it just melts your card and consumes the plastic. Maybe they got just the like, devolver digital, it. throw the money at the screen yeah. technology. <laughs> Keep yes. your hands out of it. Yeah. <laughs> game sounds like shit to be honest you know it's awful i uh i gave it a pretty fair shot to see if maybe it would like get better and it just gets worse so i would say if there's somebody who would give it more of a shot and maybe find something good out of it it'd probably be you so no it's bad if you're saying it's bad i'm not even gonna remember it i'm not gonna think about it yeah I literally um, have two mobile games that I could even like tell people to play, and that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, Magic Carp Jump. I have not played that. Is that a game? Yeah. Yes. Have you been playing it this week? <laughs> kind of. Oh, shit. It's, <laughs> just, a, it's just an idle, like, time consuming game. Oh, I also played uh, our game of the month this month, Rainbow Six Siege. I'm not going to talk about it too much because we're going to be talking about it at the end of the month. But uh -huh. I just wanted to let you guys know if you haven't been playing it, they've upgraded the shit out of it. The UI looks completely different. They have a bunch of new maps, a bunch of new fucking uh, classes, characters. Weapon attachments. Weapons, weapon attachments. All those, That game is fucking like expanded. It's like double the size of what it was. It's loaded for bear. It's what? Loaded for bear. You ever heard that expression before? No. You get like loaded up to the hilt because bears are really hard to kill. Oh, okay. You're like yelling at me like I was <laughs> loaded to the bear. Loaded to bear. Loaded for bear. Loaded for bear. Yeah. But that's not even English. Um, I've never heard that. Where have I been? Um I'm also kind of a hillbilly. Me? No, I am. Oh, I was like, damn, motherfucker. <laughs> There's nobody in this room that's a hillbilly. You had don't know my family. You live in Washington, man. Half of them are in jail for shooting each other. <laughs> are the other half? Probably in... dead. Okay. I was about to say. Okay. Um, <laughs> From being shot. They're all buried in Cleelum. All of them. Hey. Damn, it's getting grim. <laughs> Speaking of grim, <laughs> let's talk about Grim Dawn. Uh... But also, make sure to play Siege. That's our game of the month. We'll be talking about that at the end of, uh, end of this month. Uh, but yeah, we played Grim Dawn last month. Uh, we're a little late on talking about it because we do that sometimes. And uh, yeah, if you don't know, Grim Dawn is a isometric Diablo type game uh, with loot and classes and multi-classes. And I believe it's only on PC. It is only on PC. Made by the same guys who worked on Titan Quest back in the day. If you ever played that... Um, Definitely played this because it's 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 Titan Quest, only um, updated. But yeah, uh, I I played quite a bit actually. I actually beat the fucking game. I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, we played a little bit together, and uh, yeah, Chris, you have probably the least amount of uh, time into this game, but you have played it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. quite a bit. Uh, talk about it. What do you think? Um, well, coming to this game, I played a lot of Diablo, so I noticed a lot of differences. 
Mm. Um, I've played Titan Quest before, or Titan Quest 2, or whatever. One of them. They only made Titan Quest 1. Kind of, I played Titan Quest before. <laughs> um, so I kind of knew what kind of what I was getting into. But um, I had a lot of problems with this game overall. Um, there's like, in Diablo, you don't have to spend stat points. In this one, you do spend stat points, which is nice because you can customize your character however you want. I prefer that. Um, yeah. But they don't really give you a layout of like what stats you should use as each class. They just kind of let you go and they don't tell you. And then you can't respec your stat points. So once you put them in there, they're there. Mm -hmm. So like you could spec into the wrong stat entirely and fuck your character over. There's no way to respec? Not your stat points. You can respec your talents, but okay. not your stats. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's funny. I actually prefer everything you just said. I miss games where, like, you, you gotta make a decision and fucking roll with it. Um, I do get with, like, Diablo, everybody's, like, trying to make that perfect fucking build. Mm -hmm. Which is a Diablo thing. I like doing that as well. But, uh... But I also like kind of being like left alone and having to like make my like I typically when I play games like this I like to make my own build and work with it for as long as I can beat the game and then at that point I'll start looking into other people's builds and shit and you know start fucking around with stats like that. But uh, I didn't know you could uh, reset them. But it costs money. But I think there's only three stats though, isn't there? It's yeah. It's like dexterity it's and like, like damage, wisdom. health, and and magic. Yeah, yeah, but like they they coincide differently for certain classes. Mm. So like I had a witch blade, which I thought sounded really cool to begin with, but apparently it's a tank class, and I was not looking to play another tank class. Mm. Or at least that's the best build online for that were all tank classes. I was kind of looking for more of like a melee DPS that would you know enhance their damage through spells. Yeah, a lot of the classes though have multi multiple um, kind of properties though because there's a couple it seems like every class has about two different things that could be because for instance like the shaman has a lot of pets but also has a lot of just spells mm -hmm. and you can go either way you wanted and then the game has the multi-class system where you can have two different classes and kind of create your own build so right um yeah yeah i don't know it just it also doesn't um it's definitely not a game that holds your hand yeah because um, trying to figure out where quests are and objectives for those quests are is a pain in the ass. You literally have to scout every inch of the map to figure out where everything is. It's funny because, man, <laughs> that also I like because even though I do like games, there's like right here. Because I'm like, cool, I'm going to go do it. But I do miss like old school games where it's like, you know, you need to go to this area and there's going to be like a graveyard. You need to find that. Um I do kind of miss that, and that game does do that. So, um, although I still have some quests in my quest log, I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, and I haven't googled it. I could just do that. But. Well, kind of. I mean, I've done. I've made like multiple characters, and I got the same quest over and over again to kill these three mobs, and they're just randomly spawned within this location. So you literally mm -hmm. have to scour this huge ass map just to find them. They don't show up on the map until you're like within like sight distance of them. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's annoying. It's really annoying. They could have fine-tuned that part, I think, a little better. I like that. Yeah, I think I'm in the middle of that because I, I, um, I, I could see for, like, second, third, fourth playthroughs or whatever, the streamline Definitely. would become a lot nicer. But, like, mm -hmm. um, I'm the type of person that in, in these type of games that I will literally uncover the entire map as I play through. My um, first playthrough and second playthrough. Yeah, I don't typically bum. I'll go every single inch. Yeah, I don't bum rush. The yeah. in fact, when we were all playing together, I was having a hard time with it because you guys were running off killing things, and I was too busy like checking things yeah. out. Yeah, well, it's been the story of the last two weeks, but we're all tired. So yeah. fucking, uh, well, I don't know if Chris was, but I definitely was tired. And like when we we're playing, everybody just kind of. I was like, uh, okay, well, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> and then once we get together, we're just still running. I'm like, uh, oh, I guess we're running. I'm going to do this too. <laughs> so, or I'd start running. Everybody started like following me. And I'm just like, are we following me? Like, what's the plan here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, There's a lot of communication on all our parts. The the stat thing, though, I'm with Seth on this. I like that um, yeah. because it's more of a mid-maxing system. Mm -hmm. It really allows you to to have more depth to your, your character. Um, did you play Path of Exile at all? Yeah. No, so that's totally a mid-max game, yeah, too. Yeah. Um, I'd say even more so. Um, I don't know. I, I think 
as far as like points go uh, to customize your character, the game offers a, a lot of customization in that regard, and I can't see how that's a bad thing personally. So yeah, I just well, would have liked to have been able to reroll my stats since I was dumping them and basically on the I wrong am, section. I am yeah. actually very surprised. There's not like a vial you can buy, and there's a couple games where you'll buy it to to respec, and then the price keeps going up, which mm -hmm. I like that system in games. That works with your skill points in that game. Yeah, every time you respec those, the price goes up. So I, I I wouldn't be opposed if they had that for that, just to kind of have something for you to do do that with. But uh, and I probably would do the same if I if I felt like I needed to. But again, like you know, I I like the whole like. You know, mistakes were made, fucking, you gotta work with it. Because that game, you just keep fucking, you just keep leveling anyway. So, I mean, you don't make huge differences with each one of those. And if you, you know, fucked up early on, you could just restart, make another character. That sounds awful. I made four. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm done. I've had enough. I'm done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Obviously, I'm a fan of the game. I'm, I'm just sitting there like, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. <laughs> uh, it, it reminds me of a lot of the old school uh, Diablo-type games, uh, even like Diablo 2 and Diablo 1, uh, Titan Quest, uh, Path of Exile, fucking all of them. Um, Diablo 3, th that's the thing about Diablo 3, is it's, it's the like most fucking streamlined game like this out there, and that's good, but also that game becomes really monotonous for me, because I'm just kind of like... Um, I mean, even even Torchlight Two, which is a way faster paced game than fucking Diablo Three, which is crazy. How do you do that? Uh, they found a way. Um, that game still has some stuff to it that, that I, I believe you put stats in on that one too. I don't remember, but I do know their quest system is at least streamlined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm just a Path of Exile. We're not talking about that. Uh, <laughs> Grim Dawn. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just I'm I'm a huge fan of this game. I would, but I was a huge fan of Titan Quest. So I mean, literally when I play this, I I'm, I feel like I'm playing Titan Quest again with some expanded systems. I like the whole survival aspect. It's not so heavy of a burden that like you have to eat to stay alive. But there is a regen system in the game that kind of differentiates it from a lot of other games, where you have a like opaque yellow bar over your health bar, and it slowly goes down as you keep fighting and, and exploring. But when you find food, it fills back up. Now, when your health goes down, your your health will actually refill to where the yellow bar is at. So you want to keep finding food and eating it. So it's not a uh, burden on you, but it is beneficial for you to find food. Mm -hmm. And you can still use a potion to heal up all the way. Yeah, yeah. just like any other game yeah. like that. Um, and then there's scrap that you can use to um, uh, do certain things like build bridges and shit in the game. Mm -hmm. Give you access to, yeah. Um, and then there's dynamite you can find. You can actually find like secret places. Never and stuff found like any that. dynamite, but I found all the places to use the damn dynamite. You got to get further in yeah, the game. There's no dynamite until a later. certain part of the game, and then it's all over the place. I have a shitload. I'll give you all of it. I I'll found so many places to use that dynamite. Yep. yep. You. We got to get you further in the game. I think I you got to find a class I like. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. And, uh, I, and well, I, that's important. And I actually you agree with the that enjoy. struggle uh, because unlike Diablo three, where you can usually hop in and play every class, and, every class thing is playable, and yeah, you find a way to enjoy it. Um, I do think in Grim Dawn, the 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 hardest thing about it is finding that that character that, that kind of clicks for you in that game uh, because not everything does work. I was having so. fun with my druid. I actually it's enjoy insect it. swarms, everything. This is the most pause I'm being about any game we've ever talked about. Fucking, I actually like every class I've played so far in the game, but there are ones I think are, are weaker mm -hmm. for my play style. Mm -hmm. So, and you have, uh, you know, something you're looking for. It's not offering exactly that. So it makes sense. That's yeah. not even like a criticism. That's just saying, you know, they don't have what you want. I also found it very difficult to target enemies in that game. Like very difficult. Really? Yeah. I think it's, man. Okay, it's crazy. <laughs> you could be walking in that game. Walking forward, and if there's a there's an enemy where you're clicking and holding, and they get near that that mouse, your guy will just start attacking that dude. You don't have to do anything; you don't have to really click or anything. Yeah, I was say it's constantly it's pretty. If you're in a group of dudes just fucking fighting, and you click on one dude and just drag it over, you'll just keep fighting the whole time. I guess I'm just so used to Diablo three yeah. with like when you highlight an enemy or you mouse over an enemy, they get like a red, very bright yeah. border around them, and I'm used to seeing them and like, oh, there's an enemy. This one doesn't really give you that. You just kind of like most of these type of games don't do that. Uh, it's, uh, I, I, it's just a personal gripe. Diablo is very, very streamlined, and it's also really important for anybody who hasn't played this game that this is made by uh, now an indie develop 
developer versus Blizzard, which is the Huge. opposite. Right. Um, and uh, so there, there are some things about Grim Dawn that are a little uh, rough around the edges, in my opinion. But yeah. I, I kind of try and get around that just because of the the meat to it. If I do have one criticism though of this game, since I keep going, I like you. That. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> There's a part of the game where like I can't get any further and my and my computer B sods. I like that. It reminds me of the old days. Um, that's me. Uh, yeah, my criticism of the game is I beat the game and it actually has a pretty long campaign with a lot of varied areas, and the ending area gets cooler and cooler looking. You get into this, you know, it's a castle, whatever. But uh you end up without, I mean, there's nothing really spoiled. You end up fighting a boss, and I was like, okay, what's past What's past the boss? And it was kind of cool. There's there's like a full-on boss battle with a bunch of shit going on. And um, I was like, oh, fuck, what happens after you kill this thing to get past it? I killed it, and it's like, new difficulty unlocked. You can keep exploring now. I was like, is that it? Mm -hmm. it? Just ended. Boom. So I started the new difficulty, because I'm like, guess I'm done here. And it's way fucking harder. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, the, the ending is really, really abrupt. So I'm hoping, uh, in some update later, they can maybe make it a little more gratifying to beat the game because I was enjoying the game the whole time, the flow, boom, boom, boom. I'm enjoying it going further and further and just, just ended. I was like, whoa, okay. I guess I'm just going to start over. Um, so hopefully they fix that. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, it feels... Because when Grim Dawn first came out, it was uh, early access. That's when I bought it. Mm -hmm. You could only go up the right side of the map, and then it just ended. Uh, and then eventually they added the left side. And that, luckily, I took a long ass break. And when I came back, they had completed that. So I'm hoping there's, that's just a unfinished uh, ending of the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's still in early access though or not. No, I think it's a released game. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, there's being an end, but but hopefully they can. Just reminds me, it is, uh, once again, of, of Path of Exile, because that was also yep. early access. And I remember the first, like, you know, end boss or whatever. Um, it seemed like they were trying to just have it there and not really have it, like, balanced out yet. Because, like, the whole game has a really smooth uh, progression. And then you hit this guy, and it's like difficulty just spikes up, like, 1,000% mm -hmm. yep. against that, that guy. <clears throat> Um, and then yeah, it just kind of ended there, um, even though there was a, a part basically going like, oh yeah, you can go f forward, but that's not released yet, you know, type of thing. So, mm. um, but anyways, yeah, back to Grim Dawn. Um, I, I also enjoy this game. Um, I do struggle with the classes a little bit. Um, I have one character that I do really like. Um, I have experimented with a couple others, um, and... It really does come down to like trying to figure out what you do like in this game. I, I don't think, um, unless you're just like super, super into um, these kind of games, that every class combination is going to work for you. Um, not that they're unplayable or anything like that. Like I, I can play them all and they make sense. They're just not um, enjoyable for me um, to the same extent. Like the, obviously the one like I honed in on, I was like, oh, okay, this one works for me. Mm -hmm. um, I also appreciate, um, as we've kind of talked about a little bit, the depth in the the, the skill points and the um, just the, per, the character progression aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have your stat points, you have skill points, you have two uh, trees there that, that um, once you spend points into both, it actually switches your class into a different name. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the, um, essentially it's like an astrology chart. Oh God, I forgot about that. Which, yep. which I love. Um, is a whole nother beast to tackle and and you can literally just kind of like go through and and see um you start from a center point mm -hmm. and from there you can pick a direction on the star chart and once you go in that direction it unlocks uh, like constellations based on how many elements yeah. and you can start a constellation and you'll get stats or you'll get some kind of perk and typically when you finish it some of them don't have something at the end they just have a bunch of extra stats connected yeah. to character but sometimes when you finish it, you get a move, and you can attach that move onto one of your macro moves already. So if you already have, like, for instance, I have like a, um, uh, like a, it's like an ice tornado, tornado thing. I have like a bird summon on that thing too, and it's like a certain percent. I think it's like twenty five percent, so it's pretty good. And every time it hits, it has uh, a chance to summon this like light bird, lightning bird, 
And so this tornado is just flying around and fucking every once in a while you'll see it they go and shoot through people. So it's and, an auto. Yeah. And you can do that. And I, I fucking love that system because it adds, it's, it's modular. It adds um, customization yeah, uh -huh. to your moves. And I think that's fucking, I love that shit. Yeah. And I think it's neat as well, um, though it is at first glance um, overwhelming, but still daunting for me to to compare to Path of Exile again. That's another game yeah. where you look at skill tree and you go, oh, God. "What the yeah. hell am I looking at?" Path of Exile, I fucking I get in there, I'm just like, "Oh God, okay, start, I gotta start fucking strategizing yeah. for this." But uh, they're very similar in a lot of ways. It's kind of funny, yeah. um, but I think they both kind of have that old school Diablo two era um, feel going on. Versus um, some of the people who worked on Path of Exile actually worked on Diablo and Diablo yeah. Two. Well, and they 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 wanted to make a like a spiritual successor mm -hmm. to Diablo Two. Um, as for games like Torchlight and Diablo Three, are definitely more just going for that, just get in there and go 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 go. Uh, be addicting as fuck and keep yeah. playing it. That that's what they're meant for. I'm really disappointed that there's no Torchlight Three. Yeah, me too. It's fucking stupid. So, it's but, a goddamn shame. Yeah. Um, overall, though, I, I do enjoy the game. Um, I haven't gotten far enough into it to to really comment, obviously, on the end game stuff. Um, I beat it. I think I got to level it. 30 on one of my characters. Um, also, like as far as like loot goes, the game um, is pretty generous about it. Um, I can't recall how often you get like legendaries and stuff, though. Um, it's a pretty decent rate. Yeah. It's, it's not like every five seconds, like Torchlight, but... <laughs> you, know, you kill someone in Torchlight and their body turns into a pile of loot. So. And every organ and bone in their body turns into loot. Yeah. Yep. You swing through them and all those things are... It's like a piñata. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> every enemy is a fucking piñata. Uh, it, it's pretty decent. I, I get legendaries pretty often. Um, you get like the, the rare rare ones uh, pretty often as well. Like pretty constant. Mm. Um, and just like... Uh, Titan Quest, there's a lot of different types of things you can put on your guy. So mm -hmm. there's like... Oh. Uh, I forgot what the fuck I was saying. That went my, my <laughs> Um Yeah, so... So finding loot... Uh, I feel like I'm... I'm for, for someone like me, it's awesome because I, I like getting stuff. Here's a cookie. Pretty, pretty frequently. Here's a cookie. I need a cookie to enjoy a game nowadays, which really sucks. I play a game and I'm like, oh, it was fun, but I'm not getting anything, so fuck this. You need to reward me to play this game. I also like um, constantly getting loot, but I also kind of get annoyed with getting a lot of useless loot. Oh, yeah. Which is uh, a problem I have <clears throat> with um, Torchlight and even sometimes Diablo 3. Yeah. Um, I just get a lot of stuff and I'm just like, ugh, I don't care. Yep. Um, one thing I do appreciate about Grim Dawn is it has a, a feature that you can turn on that literally will just hide any loot of uh, a rarity uh, mm -hmm. of your choice. So you, yeah, you, you click through the colors and it's like this and above, it'll only show. So yes. if you don't want whites anymore, they, they don't show up. Well, yeah. So if you're hunting for like legendaries or, or whatever the, the different rarities are in that game, you literally go, this is all I care about. And that's all you'll ever see, which I, do, I think speeds up that process. Mm -hmm. A lot, and I think mm -hmm. that is something mm -hmm. that could be adapted um, into other versions and, or other games in the genre. I think it should be in every fucking game of the genre. I mean, it's not even like a it's not even like a characteristic that makes Grim Dawn Grim Dawn. It's just a good system to have. Yeah, yeah. Especially like when you're in for the long haul and you're like just constantly look for loot. It's awesome just to fucking be like, I don't want to see whites anymore. Yeah, yeah. You, don't even, you can't even click on them either. Yeah. They don't even give you that opportunity yeah. to turn them. They essentially don't down. exist. Even yeah. though every once in a while I'll be running by and I see a sword just shining on the ground. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's a white. I don't yeah. need that. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, beneath me. So I did some research for while I was playing the game to figure out like classes and things like that. And I found a few gripes online from the community. Um, they're not personal gripes, but I found it intriguing. Um, one of them was that there was no necromancer class. Mm -hmm. um, and apparently the reasoning behind that is the engine can't handle it. It Which I don't understand. Engine. What? It's an old engine. It is an older engine. But I don't understand why I can't incorporate that into the game if they have classes that can be pet builds already. Yeah, I don't know where they're getting that info from. I don't know what you're I mean, yeah. But, uh, and then the other one was is that there's an entire weapon set that is not utilized by any class at all, and it's guns. There's no class that has special talents or perks for using guns. So, like, uh, 
a shaman has a talent to specialize in two-hand weapons, as does a, a witchblade. They mm -hmm. have talents for specializing in two-hand weapons. Um, but there's no talent that actually specializes in using guns, and there's an abundance of guns in that game. There's a shitload, just yeah. as much as any other weapon. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I've noticed that as well. Um, I'm sure they're going to add a class eventually that'll utilize them. It is weird that they don't have them out already, just because there's a shitload of guns. I mean, it's one of the main weapons in the game that you find all the time. Um, I was surprised that the witch hunter doesn't use guns, because it seems like, like basically, like every time I go to the loading screen, it shows a witch hunter. He's got a sword in one hand and a gun in the other hand. And first off, he can't do that in this game. And there's no specializations for guns. Is there a witch hunter in the game? Yeah. And the why is it Warhammer? What? Warhammer, the witch hunter. He has a rapier and a pistol. No, this is just like a sword and a pistol. I know. I'm saying it's weird. That's a crow. So it's like an occultist and uh, uh, the rogue class, I think, put together. It's just weird that that they're so similar. That's funny. Um, yeah, has like a it, pilgrim hat and everything. Like I said, this game in some ways feels unfinished, mm -hmm. and I I'm relaxed on that only because I know you know how big the team is and shit like that. Um, but you know, I hope, I hope they add stuff. I'm sure they will, but I hope they do. I don't know how the resources are. So yeah, I wonder if they're working on like an expansion or something, maybe. Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't looked into development on the game at all, but I guarantee they're still working on it because I don't know what the fuck else they'd be doing right now. Yeah. And the game is sold good enough. I mean, it's already on the fucking humble bundle recently, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I even remember when it was first coming out, um, People were like, you know, talking about it. Essentially, like, oh, these guys, you know, made Titan Quest and mm -hmm. making this new game, and then it came out. And I remember even seeing like forums and Reddit posts and stuff like that. People were like talking about the genre, like, have you played Grim Dawn? Have you played Grim Dawn? So like, people definitely enjoy it. Um, I mean, obviously, you found some gripes. You're fine with any game, though. Right, um, right. I'll gripe about fucking any game. Yeah, uh, I. Th but I think overall, uh, the experience of the game is definitely positive. Yeah, I, I, out of us three, like, probably love it the most. I, I love it. Like, it's it's a really fun game. It has some weaknesses, for sure. The gun thing is weird, for sure. Yeah. I, I was noticing that, like, softly. Like, I was like, who the fuck uses guns? I figured your class would. Yeah. Because, like, they're dealing with the explosives, and it shows in the picture that they have a gun. The main That's guy. why I picked it. Yeah. Because I was like, this guy is probably the gun guy, right? Yep. Nope. Doesn't matter. Nope. You can use whatever the fuck you want. But there's perks for other things, not the guns. All I have to do is add like like an archer class to mix in. All I have to do is add one base class to mix with everything else, and you've got a shit ton of new character classes and somebody who specializes in ranged weapons. That's weird. Uh, yeah. So lasting thoughts and uh, recommendations. Let's grade it. Fuck it. We're gonna start grading things. Okay. Um, grade the experience on the game. I mean, I beat the game, so I guess I could grade it, but. I can review it too. I'm gonna go with uh, B plus. I think it is a solid game in the genre. Um, I think there's definitely room for it. I think there's room for more of them. Like you said uh, before, there's not um, a, a really terrible not abundance of games in the genre, um, and it seems like every time one does come out, people pick them up and play them. Like they don't ever seem to do bad. People so. are hungry for them. Um, uh, I would go higher, but it does have, the, like, like I said, there's some gripes I have with it. Um, I'm trying not to be too harsh on it, though, because, like you've said, any developed game, small team, um, especially if you know the whole story about how this game even came to be, um, it, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah. So, um, but overall, I think it's a great game. If you are into Diablo games and stuff like that, um, you should totally pick it up. Trying to think about it and being fair and honest, um, with the size of the team in consideration, I was I was thinking A minus B plus area, despite all my personal gripes with it. Still on. Um, yeah, because uh, it it has potential. I think it just feels like an unfinished game. Mm -hmm. um, I would recommend this for people who like Diablo S games or have played Diablo and looking for something that's more difficult. Honestly, because you're not getting all those polished ends. That Diablo has. So if it's a little more of a challenge, or more class diversity for sure, then I would recommend this for you, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I want to give it an A area, but I'm going to go with a B plus as well, just because uh, I think the game's awesome, um, but I do think 
most games in the genre uh, are, are complete, and this game is not. As you said, it has potential. I agree. I mean, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm defending it with, uh, is the future potential. But what they have with the game already is is complete. It's a full game. You can play it. You can, you can get a bunch of loot and level up and, uh, and play the game again, which is awesome, uh, in New Game Plus and uh, whatever the fuck they call it. Um, but yeah, I would I would like to see them uh, address certain things that you know people like you um, are struggling with because I, I would like people to love it as much as I do. So I'll give it a B plus because um, yeah, it's awesome, but it needs work. Uh-huh. And recommendations, people who like Diablo, people who like Diablo type games, uh, and if you're curious about games like this, I don't even know if I'd start with this one because it's a little more complicated than some of the other ones in the genre. Um, just like I wouldn't say jump to Path of Exile because you're probably going to look at it and go, what the fuck do I do? Um, especially with the trading system. I um, would say uh, Torchlight's probably a good one. Too. Torchlight would be a great one. Yeah. yeah. Especially because the Ooh, pet system um, really kind of streamlines the process oh, of just yeah. playing the game. Mm-hmm. No, Torchlight is designed to just go... And fucking get loot and just keep going. Don't yeah. stop ever. Don't even look back. Just keep fucking going. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's probably good. I mean, we're recommending Torchlight to people now. But, uh, but, but well, I guess that's part of the genre. So it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah. Uh, and yeah, like I said, if you're curious, check it out for sure. I definitely would say buy it. But if you're not really into these type of games, this is definitely not for you. If you are going to buy it, try it out. Do your research on the classes first. Do your research on the constellation, otherwise you're gonna get overwhelmed immediately. Yeah. Just like Path of Exile. That game overwhelms me. <laughs> Fucking look at the skills like, uh, if I go down five miles that way, <laughs> take a right. It's like the damn sphere grid from 10. Like, where am I going? No. I think it's worse than the sphere grid. I'm that's sure. what that's what you and Rob said. You're like, that's like that only worse. Yeah. Which is scary. Because at least the sphere grid's one way. Like you just keep going one way. It's just massive, but you keep going. That one's just, just go. Freeform, go wherever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Uh, did you play Grim Dawn? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, are you interested in playing it? Uh, did you not play it all? And you just don't give a fuck. This isn't your type of game. It's fine as well. Um, we were going to do a full discussion, uh, do a whole like roster of consoles and do like a little competition. I want more people for that, so we're going to wait on that for a little bit. That is coming. That'll be fun to do. For us, I don't know if it'll be fun for you. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, though. Um, but yeah, we're going to cut this one short because I'm just not I'm not feeling the the, the, the white and the and studio stuff. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to uh, like, subscribe, enjoy this episode. Make sure to check out our other episodes. Check us out on Tumblr and Twitter, Tasty Gaming. Check out the streams on the channel. They're uploaded if you miss them. Check them out on Twitch, Tasty underscore fruit. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Taste Cast, episode 31. As always, my name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And I'm Chris. Until uh, next Tuesday, Taste Tuesday. Have a good weekend, guys, and take it easy. I lost myself, right? Like I said, I was like, what? what's next? What's next? <laughs>